Hey friends, welcome back to the cabin and today we're catching up. Well, I've been gone a few weeks. Uh, I went to uh, Arkansas. Yeah, on a job. And worked a couple of weeks on a job and as hard as you tried, things still get behind. Yeah, I can't. I can't keep up. Uh, Cody, of course, Cody's here, but Cody was working seven twelve, yeah. so uh, mm -hmm. he was pretty much done when he got home. Except taking, he does do the the feeding in the evenings, and right. that, you know, that helped me out. So, well, you got you got the uh, beans. Oh, yeah, the they green beans good. are done, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they're putting on good. As a matter of yeah. fact, we're having there's a pot going right now with yeah. some. Uh, some uh, contender green beans and some new potatoes and some ham ham that I canned from our can last ham. home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> canned ham, but it's my can. Always yeah. putting food by. So. But we got to go out there and we've got to uh, we got to do something with grass in the in the peas. Yeah, the zipper peas up. and the purple holes are getting in bad shape. Well, but now yeah. one thing. It, the, we didn't know how they were going to do at all, and we kind of didn't give them too much of a thought because the cool weather, they just wasn't growing, so we right. wasn't sure we was going to get anything, and we got some heat, and whoo! But, the grass, the, but the grass the grass, But the grass has got them stunned. But yeah. I believe if we go out there and, and get that grass out of there and give them room to grow, I believe that's yeah. what we're putting on. Yeah. The zippers and the purple holes. Yeah, they um, they just, we just need to get out there and get that weeded good, and that'll give them a... But what we're going to do, we're going to go out there and take the soaker hose. Turn the soaker hose on. Turn it on. Get it good and wet out there where the grass come up in. Because mm -hmm. we're not going to get out there and hoe. We're not going to hoe it. We're going to have to pull that grass up. Well, we'll and, do both. I like and, to hoe, so uh, I'll, I'll do some hoeing in this. Hoe some of that is out there. <laughs> but if we wet it, it'll pull up pretty easy. It will. We'll just take one plant at a time and go down the road. If, if there's no way that you can pull weeds in dry ground and get the roots. All around, yeah. Uh -uh. All right, yeah. And if you don't get the roots, you hadn't accomplished it. I went out there yesterday and planted two tomato plants because I wanted uh -huh. some tomatoes in the row garden. Mm -hmm. And beautiful. I dug a hole, took a, a shovel, a round point shovel, and dug a hole, going to fill it up with our, our mixture. Our mixture. Mm -hmm. And uh, dug down probably, I probably dug down about a foot, maybe a foot and a little over a foot. Mm -hmm. And it was hard. Mm -hmm. it was hard. Yeah. And that was with the sharp hard. shovel because I had mm -hmm. just sharpened it the other day while he was at work. So, uh, so I yeah. went out there a while ago on those potatoes. I went out there to get us some potatoes. Yeah, we're starting to potatoes. Just to go potatoes. with these uh, green beans mm -hmm. we got going in on the mm -hmm. stove oh, right now. Oh, they were pretty too. And, and uh, one side of them potatoes, not even with that potato fork, was you going in the ground. Yeah. I had to get them up on three sides, get them a little, well, and lay it over. This it wasn't, I wasn't sticking that thing in the ground because it's so hard. It's so dry. This ground out here needs, mm. and we've been working at it, but it is there's a lot of clay in it, I think, and mm. it needs some serious amending. And we have planted ryegrass and turned it under several years. We have added cow manure and turned it under, but it is just seriously bad dirt. And yeah. so we we, uh, we ain't giving up on that. Right no, we're not going to give up on it, but it. it's just going to take a oh. lot of amending. Yeah. And that just uh, that, and then you, then it dries out, and that's like a fence post. You're not pulling a fence mm -hmm. post. A T post will not come out <clears> of the ground if it's if it's dry. You know, back years ago, before we built the barn, I had a fence running along there, right right where the fence. And even with the tractor, we, we couldn't pull them up. Out. You couldn't pull mm -hmm. them up. They wouldn't come <laughs> up. You couldn't pop them out. You couldn't pull them up with a tractor. I worked for. Ever on three, three fence posts. Yeah, trying so to move like fence. Have never got them boogers. Now up. you get a good rain and that ground gets yeah. soft. You can do mm -hmm. it, but you're not going to mm -hmm. do it otherwise. So, so <laughs> the garden, we you know we got to get out there and get caught up on it. Um, and we got that pot of green beans and new potatoes going now. So it's going it, in there right yeah, now. I'm gonna make a pan of mm -hmm. cornbread. Oh, uh, um, but what else has uh, been? Well, we got a. Uh, I'm gonna get in there him pretty soon. I'm gonna run you out of that kitchen. I'm gonna get in and go do some cooking. Hey, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. I got well, a little that kitchen like I wanna do. That sounds like a video. Mm -hmm. We'll oh, do some, one on. You gonna we'll do, do some one. some man cooking. That's some, what I'm talking about. All right, about. all right. I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm good. I'm looking forward to that. Anything yeah, to get a break. That'll be coming up. Yeah. That'll be coming up. Um, I, speaking of kitchen and putting food by and stuff like that, uh, we got 
uh, several bags of onions gifted to us the other day. And my dehydrator has been going nonstop. Nonstop, man. Nonstop. Oh. So we just ended up putting, uh, just a few minutes ago, finished putting eight trays uh, oh, yeah. in there, slicing them up, and my, my hands still smell like, like onions. Like onions. You smell like an onion. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I smell like an onion. So. Yeah. But uh, uh, what I'll do with those is uh, I'll, it's just putting food by because you never know. That's what we do is we prepare regardless. You know, We've got some squash. Mm -hmm. That was ready. Got zucchini. Mm -hmm. we're, where are we getting zucchini? Oh my goodness, squash uh, and zucchini. We had some fried uh, the other night. That was just sure did. That was oh good. Oh my goodness. We've uh, we, tomatoes. We got little bitty tomatoes. My romas are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The romas and the and the marions doing. And the marions good. and the roma green beans are are full of blooms out mm -hmm. there. And we'll we'll uh, be doing something with that. Hempers. Yeah, we'll be picking uh, on those pretty soon. We uh uh. The asparagus is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I was trying to get to June the 1st, and we, mm -hmm. we had some last night, or not before last. Not before not last, and yeah. that was the, that was the last of it, so. Oh, uh, and uh, the okra, still got a ways to go. Yeah, but it looks good. Look it good. looks good. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a hot, This over hot here weather. in the raised bed, which, again, that's best raised bed we got. Yeah. That okra's looking better than the okra out Well, the, that is uh, where the a compost pile used to be, where that one is, and, and mm -hmm. um, that, but now okra likes it super hot, and we just have not had that. Everybody's experienced a cooler, cooler spring than normal. Mm -hmm. um, some people are calling it the grand solar minimum, and I tend to, I tend to believe that. But it's the cycle, the cycle of the earth, you know, it, it's sometimes you're going to be a little warmer and sometimes you're going to be cooler, and I think we're going through that now. But okra, and that's what happened to the peas, mm -hmm. they're not going to really grow until they get that heat. Or pasture grass, I've talked about that in the past. Mm -hmm. um, near pasture grass uh, needs heat for it to grow. But the okra will do wonderful once the heat gets here. So You got a few uh, little herbs? Yeah, the, yeah um, the, the thyme, I had planted one little thyme that I didn't start. I just saw it one day and I bought it, uh, I think I bought it um, at Williamsville, at the little country store in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And it's just huge now, so I'm going to have to be uh, cutting that and putting that in the dehydrator and dehydrating some thyme and rosemary. I've got sage planted that's doing really good. I've got some basil that's doing really good. And booze fixing uh, it off. <laughs> Do I know my dog? You know your dog pretty good, yes. When somebody uh, drives by, he's yeah. going to run them off. Get them going, boy. <laughs> oh, what else you got out there? Got your rosemary? Oh, let me tell you. Yeah, the rosemary. Uh, but let me tell you. All right, so back when I bought the bees, when we mm -hmm. bought the bees, we ordered the bees. We had to take the box up there and drop it off. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, right after that, you left to go to Arkansas to go mm -hmm. to work. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I got the letter from Mr. Zook because they're Amish. There's no phone communication. They sent me a postcard. Mr. Mr. Zook sent me a postcard saying the bees would be ready on a certain Saturday. Well, I wasn't at work then. I had went to Jackson to that uh, school. Oh, that's right. You yeah, and Cody yeah, went yeah to they school. went to school <laughs> <laughs> for some, some uh, certification coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Um, that Saturday was coming up, and there's been a couple of the Amish uh, homes that I wanted to stop at that you were like, we ain't got time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and I'm like, I'm by like myself. Guy, yeah, it does. I'm like, I'm by myself. I'm going to stop. And one of them was uh, one of the Amish families that had greenhouses, and they sold vegetable and flowers plants, mostly vegetables, and I wanted to stop so bad, and I asked Mr. Zook, I said, will the bees be okay in the truck to stop, and he said, they sure will, <laughs> so I stopped at this one, and um, I bought, the only thing I bought was eggplant and cucumber, because really, we, did, we had everything planted, but I wanted something from them so bad, and I am here to tell you, those are the most beautiful healthiest plants. I am so, the eggplants egg are just going <laughs> wild. Now the cucumbers are doing really good, mm -hmm. but they were tiny when I got, the eggplants mm -hmm. were a little bit bigger. And the cucumbers are climbing the trellis, so they're doing good, really good. But those eggplants are just <clears throat> beautiful. So I, I can't wait to go back. Well, that was three weeks ago, I think, when you went, just a tad over three weeks, when you went uh -huh. and got the bees. Mm -hmm. And the deal was that after, three or four weeks 
we'd have to go out there and check and put a super. Well, actually, he said two about two weeks, so we were running a little bit behind. He said, "Well, he said check it in two weeks." Mm -hmm. So we actually we thought, well, if we're going to check it, we need to go ahead and put a super. Go ahead and put it on. Just as easy yeah. to put a super on. Yeah. We check so we waited so. a week. Ended up being a week later. We got we're, that done yesterday. Yeah, and I think it, it was definitely time, and they are very happy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they uh, they got a, another super on top, and these bees. Well, both hives that we got from Mr. Zook are very docile. Now, you don't go out there and pop the lid off without smoking them in, in a suit, but they're not aggressive. They're, they're, I go out there every morning, and I sit in front of them. When I do my morning walk around, I'll sit for two, three, four minutes just sit in front well, of the hive. And I asked somebody one time when we first started doing these bees, yeah. I asked somebody, I said, um, how do you mow? around the beehive. How do you know? <laughs> he and, said very and he fast. said very fast. He said whatever you do, do quick. So just like and don't we bump put the, the super you don't need on, to we didn't take long doing it. Mm -hmm. we didn't no, take but, long. It, we but they weren't uh, they weren't buzzing you or, or, mm -hmm. or aggressive or upset. Mm -hmm. Now you know of course the smoking what the smoking mm -hmm. does is it it um, actually covers the the ferrum that triggers uh, danger. So when, I believe so that's this, what that does. this new hive is even more docile than the, than the hive too. we've always I had because they, they seem to be a lot more busy and uh, that old hive has is, is got me before. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it's yeah. got me But before. you know, Mr. Zook goes out there, him and his, uh, uh, probably his oldest son or one of his older mm -hmm. sons because they have nine children um, and they go out there with just the veil and work the bees but they're out there every day <coughs> and the bees know them and they're not you know, um, intimidated. Boo, you gonna chase the airplane now? Yeah, that's, that's a airplane. low flying. <coughs> yeah. He's like, he's trying to find it. Oh, what else? What else? Uh, we well, now, a few days ago, and we didn't film it this time because, we, well, one thing, we really didn't think about it. Didn't. We but didn't, we, but we'll do not, that but next time. Right. We, uh, which I'd harvested some a few weeks before that. Mm -hmm. Uh, worm castings. Now, I, I had I have had one bin that I've had probably six months, and just mm -hmm. never really expanded, and just kind of let them go. And I was just letting them compost and building up. And I had actually harvested half of that bin about three weeks ago mm -hmm. myself, just out there relaxing. Well, you were at work, you were out no. of town, or it might have been while you was in Jackson. I don't know. We yesterday we harvested two of them but just half of them too right yeah because one well, of maybe them, three the, quarters of or a little over half of one and, and then, then half, half of the other. other one because there was only half to do of the other and, one. and uh we wound up with uh about six gallons well we we got one five gallon bucket it's pretty full right at yeah. full and then we got another one that's about between a third and half foot. Yeah, and there was a little bit in the bottom of one yeah. of those buckets. So we probably got started, yeah, yeah. six or seven over, gallons. Yeah, we got well over seven. five gallon bucket. Yeah, and bucket. that was just from 18 gallon totes. Mm -hmm. And and wound uh, up with another tote. Yeah, we did. And that's something else that I figured out. And, and of course, I'll, I'm going to do a video on um, worm castings. Harvesting worm castings. There's so many ways that people do it, but um, and making the, the tea and making the tea, mm -hmm. and there's a particular way that you have to make the tea to get the benefits out of. It's not difficult. You just have to be sure to do it. And I, that's another thing. Of course, we've got our little contest going. You've got your tomatoes, and it gets a mixture of the tea and Miracle Grow. Mm -hmm. But my tomatoes and all of my stuff on that this side of the raised beds get only rainwater and worm casting tea and i'm gonna tell you there's so everything healthy as that everything is going pretty good it is uh, mm -hmm. even the the we thought we was going to lose the peas i believe we can yeah. save them if we can get out there and get them which we're going to do that yeah we thought we was going to lose the peppers the bell peppers the first and ones. we pl planted eight more buckets of bell mm -hmm. peppers with and, new, with and new now soil those are starting soil. to they are to, well, I don't know that they're going to do, but they, they're looking like they Well, might. they were so anemic looking until we were thought, oh my goodness. But we kept working and kept working mm -hmm. and kept trying. And they, the, the new growth looks great. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. and they're putting some blooms on. And it's all about that soil biology and soil nutrient availability, which that's something I'm really studying and learning about. And so we're learning... 
tomorrow. Wow, that doesn't work. We got to load up a cow and go do uh, another ultrasound. Yes, we'll last time that. that we can last because can. after mm -hmm. this, he won't be able to uh, get the ultrasound right. in position because the calf will be too big because well, they don't do it on the outside. You gonna borrow Cody's truck? Yeah, we got. You can't pull her with mine. I don't have a drop hitch on that's mine. That's another story. My truck, third time, mm -hmm. back in the shop again. Mm -hmm. See, I, I had moved the appointment because I, because my truck was in the shop. It's not, it, I mean, it's not missing. It's not, not running rough. It's not doing anything. But the engine light comes on, and the technician told us the last time, which we've had it in there twice, second time, four to five weeks, it sat there waiting on a part. The technician said, you cannot drive it. I said, well, we'll just leave it here. I can't drive it, leave it here and waiting on the part. He said, you cannot drive it, it will tear it up. So I picked it, they called me, changed the part, picked it up, didn't get out of town, and the engine light come on again. Oh, we can use this truck. We'll let him take my truck to work. And we can use my truck, but I don't have a drop hitch on this. Right, so Cody, Cody, I'm borrowing Cody's truck. We'll it's use a that, half take time, that up there and get her done. Mm -hmm, it's not very far. We're, uh, uh, we're a little bit behind. But we'd catch up. We'd yeah, get we're going to catch up. Yep. And, uh, yeah. oh. i got a lot of stuff going on inside. I've uh, I've canned some apples. I've dehydrated some apples. I've been busy. I've got some uh, apple cider vinegar um, um, making, and that's something I'll do a video in, in the future, uh, making apple cider vinegar from apples. Well, i got another uh, question. What's that? What do I keep smelling? Is it onions or is it green beans? <laughs> I think it's green beans in there with that ham. Yeah, right? green beans and ham I'm, and new I'm potatoes. I'm not ready to go in there and check on what's on that stove. Um, is that everything? Uh, that's what's got. Well, we got. Here's the videos we've got coming up. Worm castings, worm tea. Um, I've got probably. Um, I don't know. Whatever I start I'm canning. I'm gonna get in the I'm kitchen. Gonna, I'm gonna get in the kitchen. You got. You cooking. got some man cooking. You're gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna be canning green beans pretty soon. Um, I'm going to stress something about that. Canning green beans, you have to pressure can green beans. There's a lot of school of thought out there that says that you can water bath them. Please don't. They're not, uh, they're a low acid food and you have to pressure can them. So I'll be, if I'll, when they start really coming in and they're, they're fixing to, I'll um, show you how to do that. It's a great introduction to pressure canning. Green beans are so easy to do in a pressure canner, so. Great introduction if you've never pressure canned and you're a little bit uneasy about it. That's a great place to start. So well, just keep watching. We got plenty of yeah. We got up. and 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 we get so busy and sometimes a little time goes by before we can get a video out because we've got a lot of work going on around here. So mm -hmm. and you know, but that's yeah, it. That's it. So <laughs> that's the cabbage chat. Um, we're blessed. Sure. Let me tell you, we are crazy. Crazy blessed. Um, God has just really blessed us. I don't know how any any other way to put it right now. So I'm just glad to be eating home cooking home again. Cooking. <laughs> yeah, because Arkansas, <laughs> Arkansas, he wasn't eating home cooking in Arkansas. Were you? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, no so we're gonna have some sure enough home cooking here in a few minutes. So, well, I've got to. Go put on a pan of cornbread, and you've got to get some soaker hoses moved and get them turned on. So I think we need to go ahead and, and uh, dog this off. But speaking of blessings, I'm going to remind you of this wonderful blessing. Don't ever forget that your Heavenly Father loves you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. God bless.